profitable, not just for you, but for everybody that even comes near you, that he wants to bless you, that you become a blessing to others. But you can't have, you can't be a blessing if your heart is dirty. You can't be a blessing if your heart is wicked. So it does not matter what you're into, God can save you. It doesn't matter what sins you've committed, my friends, God can cleanse you of all unrighteousness by the blood of Jesus. That's why the blood was shed, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. So we need to repent. We need to repent. We need to seek the face of the Lord before it's too late. We need Him. I need Him. We all need Him. The world needs a Savior. He's the Savior of the world, sir. Just like that dry cleaning. It comes in dirty, but the man delivers it clean. See, Jesus, we come to Jesus dirty. And yes. He delivers us clean. Come on, brother. That's true. Oh, this yeah. is what he does for us. Yes. He delivers us clean. Hallelujah. He, he presents us clean. That those that seen us in our dirtiness, that left us when we were dirty, Jesus takes us all in and he presents us back to those people clean, fresh, renewed. That sometimes it even almost brings shame to those that thought you would never make it. Because God loves taking those stories of those people that were forsaken. God loves taking the people who were left and abandoned. God loves taking those people who were called decrepit. And he loves remaking them, refashioning them, and then presenting them back to those that forsook them. And say, look at my child. Look at what I've done with him because I love him. Because God loves us. He loves us. And he says in his word that he will never leave us and he will never forsake us. And he doesn't lie. He is only true. He's a perfect God. Hallelujah. Perfect God. And I am not a perfect man, but I follow after a perfect God who Hallelujah. tells me that I can find perfection in him. That I can gain perfection through him. The Bible says, be ye perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. And let me tell you, my friends, God is perfect. His ways are perfect. His wisdom is perfect. Everything He speaks is perfect. Everything He does is perfection. And you do not need to fix perfection. So guess what? What does that mean? Because it says that you're made in the perfect image of God. That means you're perfect. Did you know that? All of you people here in Edmonton, everybody under the sound of my voice, you are perfect. God loves you perfectly because you are perfect. Look in the mirror tonight and say, thank you, God. You made me perfect. You don't need to disfigure yourself. You don't need to change nothing because you're perfect. Because you're made in the perfect image of God. So do not let anybody tell you anything different. Don't let people say you're ugly. Don't let people shame you. Don't let people say nothing because you are made perfect. If anyone says, look at you, you're disgusting. You say, guess what? I looked at myself and I understand something that God is perfect and he made me perfect. And God is perfect. And everything he does is perfect. The devil's a liar. Gets people to be confused and to think that there once was a male, but I should have been born a female. My friends, God doesn't make mistakes. God is not in the business of making mistakes. He is not the author of confusion. Satan is. That because you see in people's lives, they get hurt at a young age, which brings in spirits into their life. Because the hurt goes unchecked. The unforgiveness goes unchecked. And unforgiveness is sin. And sin, the wages of sin is death. So when we live in unforgiveness, and we do not, we do not sew up the hurts inside of us, you see it opens up a spiritual door in our life to be oppressed. And to be eventually possessed by spirits. And these spirits can bring confusion. And these spirits can manipulate a man to believe he is a woman and cause him to think it's okay for a man to put on a dress and go into the woman's washroom. <laughs> this is what demons love to do. Because you see, they love confusion.
because if you're in confusion, confusion usually follows fear, or fear follows confusion, because when anybody gets confused, they live in fear. Just like people that have dementia, they get fear, they start to experience fear. The byproduct of having dementia is fear, not knowing where I am, where I'm going, or who I am. And that's what demonic spirits are ultimately trying to do to your life. To get you to believe something that's a lie, to get you to not know who you are, to not to get you to not know where you're coming from, where you're going. See, that's what we have with God. We have a stability that God says, this is exactly where we're going, this is exactly how it's gonna be like, and this is what it's even gonna this is what the experience is gonna be. He lays it all down for us because he is not the author of confusion. He does not confuse us. Many things in this world can be confusing. The one thing I have found in this life that is pure, that is stable, is God and His Word. Nothing is confusing. Because now, the Holy Spirit, the Bible tells us that when you have the Holy Spirit, listen clearly, when you have the Holy Spirit, it says you have no longer a need of anybody to teach you anything that the Holy Spirit will teach you in all things. God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. So you can have 